Hello and welcome to Clan TV for Clan's first competitive home game of the season as the Clan take on the Fife Flyers. It's a Scottish rivalry night in the Challenge Cup. A few Clansmen making their home debuts tonight. Jeff Ulmer and Matt Becker both take to the ice. Clan fans may also be interested to see how a couple of last year's roster members get on as Brendan Brooks and Rick Jackman also line up for the men from Kirkcaldy. Could this penalty box be a busy one? There's only one way to find out. Let's go rinkside with Craig Anderson. Here we are about to start the 2016-17 campaign and what better way to do it, the latest chapter in the rivalry between Greyhead Clan and Five Flyers in the Challenge Cup. The added caveat of Rick Jackman and Brendan Brooks being back here certainly adds a little spice to it, Brooks sending the puck out of play already. Free call! One timer, Shane Owen didn't know anything about it. Peacock finds the net, sending the puck in on the low right hand corner of Shane Owen. Matt Keith winning the face off, Peacock getting the shot away. 9.58, Ray Head out ahead. Boyd. It's away from Shaber, what's Boyd going to do here? Looks for an option, dumps it in the corner. Haywood and McKenzie are there, Haywood picks it up. Moyer kind of brings him down a little bit there. Fan come away with a puck. Trevor Hendricks standing firm against Tommy Muir. That gets the fans on side. That leads to a chant from the crowd, he'll be loving that. Moyer looks for an option, and he's got one in Shane Stockton. Stockton loses possession. Watton, big shot there. And the Flyers have equalised. 4-19 of the first period. Good one-time effort from Stockton. Flies past Zajkowski. And Flyers make it 1-1. Clan doing well in the penalty. Shaba is met by Pitt. Pitt battling with him. Pitt comes away with the puck now. He's got Cowick in support. What's he going to do here? Yeah! Great skill from Scott Pitt. Winning the puck. Moving into the middle, sending it past Owen, short-handed. Clan are 2-1 ahead, 1.42 left. Wonderful goal from Scott Pitt. Great skill. 15 seconds left of the penalty. Jeff Ulmer currently sitting at the moment, Moyer. Moves it to the far side, Stockton. Stockton, of course, the scorer tonight for five. Moya. And back to full strength. Full and Clan have the puck in time as they return to full strength. Ulmer. Ulmer goes on the inside, sends the puck wide. Good opportunity. The fans certainly enjoying this now. Lots of noise from the home support, but Dingle plays it into the middle. And a good finish from Sebastian Tunnell. Flyers have responded. Under seven minutes to go, the second period, 34 seconds of the penalty. A penalty on Russ Moyer. Moyer, one of Flyers' last signings. He was a Sheffield Steeler last year, winning the league title with Paul Thompson's men. Pitt. Peacock was in the middle there. Clan try and force it again. That goal's moved off the mooring once more. Clan arguing it was deliberate by Owen. Carlson. Opportunity Hendricks doesn't quite get full contact on it. Kind of scuffs it wide. 
Flyers defending doggedly. Dingle. Turon tries one. It's the backboard, comes back out. Plan have the opportunity, it's Pitt. Plays it back for Carlson. Blocked by Owen, he's spread himself across his line. All sorts of bodies in that Flyers crease. Chase Shaber, and I can't see who the clan player is. Bit of a scuffle there, is it Cody Carlson? Now there's something else going on here. It's Trevor Hendricks. Trevor Hendricks looking to get into something with Russ Moyer. Moyer says no. To the centre, Dingle as well, blocked by Zykotsky. Puck all over the place here. Good blocking from the clan goalie. Dingle's chance. There's a couple of follow ups there. Zykotsky doing well. Clan waiting for the next wave of Flyers attack. It's coming now. Moyer into the clan zone. Fox. Also in there, Moyer has it along the blue line. Opportunity, a low one. Good saving from Zykowski. Justin Fox thought he'd found an opening, it wasn't to be. Clan killed the penalty, Trevor Hendrick back on the ice, Levitt. Good effort, goes wide, aided by Owen. Sullivan swipes it at Dingle. Good play from the young Brit. Tries to thwart any possible danger, but Flyers still have it, Moyer. Could have deflected wide there. Fox has it. Moves it out the way. Got a chance here. They have it. Ryan Dingle scores. Flyers make it 3-2 on the power play. Ten minutes to go. Opportunity for Clan. There it is! Wonderful backhanded effort from Matt Becker. Clan won the face off. Matt Becker doing well, finds the opening, swipes it into the net. Clan have levelled it, it's three apiece. We're about to play three on three overtime. For the first time in this arena, we're just checking to see if it's the first time in the league. Hits Wharton. Oh, hits the post. Good opportunity from Kyle Wharton. Now, fires on the break, but Wharton back there again. In for Pitts. Good block by Owen. Well, what an exciting 24 seconds already. Goes loose, play head on the far side. Becker tries to feed it for Pitt, takes a deflection off Jackman. Becker still has it. Shaber intercepts the pass, Jackman. And it's Vinucci. Vinucci sidesteps the move there. Vinucci clinches the points for Flyers. A well taken finish. Flyers take the game, 4-3 after overtime. A good finish from the former Swindon Wildcat. Rick Jackman and Brendan Brooks get a win on their return to Brayhead Clan in five Flyers colours. It's another two points for the Flyers in the Challenge Cup. It's finished here, Brayhead Clan three, five Flyers four after overtime. So, Todd, another season, another Clan Flyers game in the atmosphere. Didn't disappoint tonight, did it? No, not at all. Um, I, I had warned these guys after a, a, a steady performance last night against Belfast Giants. I knew these guys, their home opener. I knew it was going to be busy. 
I knew these guys were going to be buzzing, and uh, I don't know if everybody was prepared for it. Like they had us hemmed in there, um, for, uh, you know, for swaths of uh, the game. But uh, we held firm, always stood up tall back back there for us, made some big saves, and um, you know it was tight right to the end again. Seems like every Flyers and Brayhead match seems to be like that nowadays, eh? Well, it's great to see. I mean, so obviously some huge pluses for you to take away, not just the result there, but some great special teams performances. And, and you mentioned, of course, your goalie there, good performance between the pipes. You must be delighted with all those aspects. Yeah, 100%. And I mean, one thing you got to remember is that um, we've only really had three full practices together as a squad, which really kind of gives me, makes me optimistic. Um, you know, were we perfect? Absolutely not. Both games, we, we made plenty of mistakes. Um, but the big thing is, is um, I think we recruited quality people. Um, the guys are great. Um, they bought into it. You can tell they care. And, um, you know, we built a team on work ethic. And, um, you know, we were a little bit tired at the start. It looked like we found our legs towards the end and we kind of got into a groove. Um, and a great team you got here. So um, she's going to be scrappy. And I've warned these guys. I mean, you want to have any success in this division, Challenge Cup or this league, you're going to have to bring performances like that every night uh, to survive and grab points. So, Scott, man of the match performance there, but ultimately not the result that you were wanting. How's the, the atmosphere in the dressing room just now? Yeah, I mean, everyone's obviously pretty bummed with that result. I mean, I thought we played a great game. We had tons of chances, tons of shots. Z played unbelievable in that, bailed us out, and we just couldn't get it done for him. So, kind of disappointing. On a plus side, though, your, your line, you've got new line mates in this season, and it seems to be clicking pretty well with uh, Becca and Cowick on that line. How's it feeling from your perspective? Yeah, I mean, right from day one, it felt really good. Obviously, um, I've actually played with both of those guys before in my career, so it's pretty easy just to kind of pick up where we left off. But, yeah, we've had tons of chances, good chemistry, so hopefully we can keep rolling. So, Ryan, always tough to lose that way, but those new overtime rules there, three on three, a real tough one to take after a game like that. Yeah, three on three, it's exciting. And, you know, it's for sure, it's exciting. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we had a couple chances to... Uh, to end it and, and we did it and their first shot on net went in and you know, that's the way it goes and in three on three it's back and forth back and back and forth and uh, they got the bounce tonight. You know, Clando with some really strong performances first period really strong and a really dominant second period did you take some uh, some pros from that? I took a lot I mean there's a lot of a lot of pros out of this game we held them to 14 shots you know they're an opportunistic team they sit back and wait and then they try to catch you on the counter attack and and uh, they did the same thing to, to um, Belfast last night you know but we held them to 14 shots we uh, you know we kind of gave them the game our discipline was poor uh, our special teams didn't click and uh, we didn't score goals you know their, we, their goalie had a great night you know he made he made you know over 37 saves tonight you know he uh, and, and we had quality quality scoring chances we had 17 within the house and that's where we want to get our, our chances and and we didn't get it we didn't beat them tonight and that's the difference, you know. But um, you know, it's uh, it, it, it's good in a way to get a point because we we got some lessons to learn here. We're not going to be an undisciplined team, and tonight that cost us. And also, Ryan, just finally as well, it's good to be back in the arena. Sundays traditionally can be a difficult one to sell, but it didn't feel like tonight. Is it? Must be a bit of an eye opener for some of the new players. Yeah, the the atmosphere, the, the you know the energy from the from the crowd was 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 amazing. You know, and, and I thought offensively, I thought we looked really dangerous. I thought we were exciting. I thought physically we were good. You know, we did a lot of good things, but we, we need to, we got some areas to work on and a lot we can control. Our discipline, you know, our special teams, we need to execute. We had great puck possession. We had good ozone time, but we didn't execute. We didn't get pucks through. We didn't get, we didn't get to rebounds. All Fife did was throw pucks on net and go for rebounds, you know, and, and, and we talked about it, and, and that's something we, we, we have time to address, but this is game one. This is game one. We have some areas of some of concern, and we got some areas we feel that we're very, very strong in. And you know, and it's just a it's a process from here on out. Good luck with next weekend. Thank Cheers. You. Now. Cheers.